I'm going to do something kind of fun I'm excited about. I am going to do a Q&A. So I asked you guys on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube to send me some questions um, about the baby, about me, about the baby, about the pregnancy. So you guys did awesome and you sent in about 20 questions or so. So I'm just going to quickly go through these. Some of them are repeats. Um, some of them are not. So I'm going to go through these really quick and give you guys a little shout out and answer your questions as I go the best I know how. So first I'm going to go from YouTube and answer a few questions. Um, my nose itches. My allergies are really bad if I scratch my nose. Uh, there's not many questions on YouTube. Uh, you guys are more interactive on Instagram than YouTube, which is fine. This one was, oh, she requested us to do a baby's name we love but won't be using tag. I don't know if I want to do that simply because if we have more girls, I don't want to say those names. So I have a huge list of girl names that I have and I kind of want to keep them private because we might want to use them in the future. Uh, that was from Ashley B. From the Goosneys, Goosneys? Goosney? Goosney Life? Please tell me I'm saying that right. Are you guys planning on keeping with the J names and are you planning on breastfeeding? Uh, keeping with the J names, probably not. I don't think I have, I think I have one J name on the list of girl names. The boy name, I don't know. Like I don't have a lot of J names. It's not something like that we want. It's not something that we're against, but I don't, I just don't have any J names that I'm like dying to use. So probably not. And then our second question was, are you planning on breastfeeding? Yes, I am. Um, I really, really, really want to be able to, um, so I'd really like to try to do it, um, so we shall see. It's just kind of one of those things. We'll see if it happens. If it happens, it does. If it doesn't, then that's God's plan, and we'll go with that. And then moving on to Instagram. There's a lot of questions from Instagram, so I'm just going to quickly go through these. Morgan Noel, she said, what are you craving right now? Well, <laughs> the whole entire pregnancy, I have been craving one thing the most, and that is Jim and X barbecue. <laughs> But the sad thing is, it's not, they don't have any Gemini's barbecues in Florida. They're all like in Birmingham, Montgomery. There's one at the beach. So I can't eat my number one craving. It's Gemini's barbecue. And I, I haven't even eaten barbecue really that much here. There's one barbecue place on Disney property that I want to go eat at. And then there's Hoopty Doo Review, which we might go for my birthday. Um, but I really want barbecue and we don't have the ones I want here. And there's not that many good barbecue places where we live. If you guys know, know of any good barbecue places in Florida, Central Florida, let me know because that's been my number one craving. Something else I've been craving like crazy is Firehouse. The closest Firehouse to us is 25 minutes away, so oh, I love you, Firehouse. Oh, it's so good. I don't know why, but I crave it so much. Um, fruit. I really am craving fruit a lot. Watermelon. Um, and of course, it's not watermelon season. Ices. Coke Ices. I don't know necessarily if I'm craving the Coke Ices as much as... It makes me feel better because a lot of times, a lot of days I don't eat. I just don't because I don't want to throw it up. And a Coke Icy, the sugars in it makes me feel a lot better. So I like Coke Icy's a lot. Little hot tamale candies. Those are really good. I honestly haven't been craving too much because I've been so sick. Because you know when you're sick and you're nauseous, you don't want to eat. That's pretty much me. I just haven't really wanted to eat. So I haven't been craving too much. Coke Icy's, Firehouse barbecue food which I need Mexican food once again like everything that I'm craving we don't have like surprisingly the Central Florida area where we live there's not that many good Mexican restaurants we have this one place in Birmingham called La Fiesta and they have the best cheese dip and quesadillas and I've been craving them so much and we don't have them here I mean we do have them here but close to us there's like one Mexican restaurant and it has terrible reviews and I don't want to get food poisoning while I'm pregnant because I already feel like I have food poisoning all the time. Anything else? I mean of course I'm craving like salty stuff, chips, trail mix, um, like I said coke ices, pound cake, my mother-in-law's pound cake. She makes us this plain pound cake that I love. I was craving that this morning. Chocolate like um like the other night I wanted a chocolate milkshake really bad. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Definitely I've been craving Chick-fil-A. And that's the one thing. Chick-fil-A and Panera are my two like go-tos when I'm pregnant and I haven't eaten anything all day. Usually I can get like some nuggets or um, soup or something from Panera and that will make me feel a whole lot better. So Chick-fil-A and Panera, you are the real MVPs of this pregnancy because you have made me not go to the hospital many times. <laughs> Next question is from Kayla... This is from Instagram, so all the letters are next to each other, so I can't actually... Oh, I guess I could click on her profile. Kayla Gant. 
see you just have to click on the profile Kayla she comments a lot she said what are you most nervous and most excited about most nervous um I guess like as far as like the birth process I'm just nervous about actually birthing the baby I have really bad anxiety so I've been trying either not to think about it or not be anxious about it because my sister's labor was traumatizing um so I don't I'm scared that mine's going to be traumatizing as well so I'm just trying not to overthink it other things that I'm nervous about I'm really nervous about our finances because I haven't been able to work I don't know we just really like where we are we don't want to move so we're nervous about our finances so be praying for us that Josh can find a job that will provide more financially what am I most excited about <laughs> the baby holding the baby for the first time kissing the baby um, we do really need to pick a name we do I'm just excited about being a mom in general like that's something I've always known that I wanted to do wanted to be whenever we were playing as kids like playing dress up or whatever I'd always want to do like mommy and baby or like daycare I have a very nurturing sense about myself so I'm just really excited to be a mom teach the baby things love the baby kiss the baby I'm so excited just to hold the baby okay Nicole May 88 said when did your morning sickness start my morning sickness started on september 23rd the reason i can remember that so well that was week 5.5 for me is because my friend zach's birthday was on the 22nd i believe and we went out to dinner and um we had a big work event that day and we went and i just remember that day i was like you know i feel pretty good and then the next day i just it just went downhill from there i had physical therapy all of a sudden i was like man i'm kind of nauseous i don't feel good and then since September 23rd, I've been sick constantly. So, week 5.5. Meyer Party of Three said, have you thought of any themes for the nursery? I'm due a month after you. We just found out it's a girl also. Congratulations. Um, I'm Pinteresting like crazy different nursery ideas. Love to hear what you both are thinking. Well, if we were going to have a boy, we had a theme in mind. Um, we probably, I think we'll have a boy one day. So we're gonna keep that theme under wraps but it's pretty darn obvious what it would be if you know us at all um as far as a girl the only thing josh says that he wants in the theming is star wars so it's not gonna be a star wars themed nursery but we will have either like a star wars quote or like some kind of something nod to star wars in the nursery i don't know what it'll be probably something framed like a picture or something i don't really know um as far as what i'm thinking if you can't tell behind me, I like really plain stuff. I'm actually wanting to redo our room. I want to do navies and whites and like some pictures that I um, brought home when I went to Paris above our bed. So I want to redo our room. Random side note, I don't want it to be these colors anymore. I do want the white bedspread, but I want to do navies and whites and grays and tans in here. Anyways, the baby's room, the reason I say that is because in the baby's room, I want to do really soft colors like whites, mints, maybe some corals, maybe some pinks, which is funny because this is what's in here, but I promise it won't look like this. Just really like sweet. I don't know because a lot of the stuff I was looking at was more like toddler, five-year-old, big girl stuff. I want it to be very sweet, but also like I want a flamingo. I have to have a flamingo in the room somewhere. There's a stuffed animal flamingo at Target. I'll insert a picture of it. I want it so bad and I want to put it, we're going to have a twin bed in the room and I want to put it on that bed because I love flamingos. <laughs> I always have when I was growing up. I had this little flamingo tie beanie baby and I called her Pinky and she was my favorite beanie baby. So I've always loved pink flamingos. I just want it to be cute. I want some metallics in there too, maybe gold. I don't know. We'll see. Hey! Hey! You need a shower? Yeah. Come on through. Kawaii. <laughs> Kawaii. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I have no idea how to say your username. Your name is Stephanie, but your username is S-A-S-O-L-I-Z. Do you plan on passing anything down to baby girl bug? Toys, blankets, books. Love you all and can't wait for your precious little gal. Oh, thanks. Um, actually, when I was posting... Ooh, that puts a nice little glow on the face. Um, when I was posting this the picture for this Instagram post, if you look on the picture, there's a blanket, a quilt that Lady's laying on. The quilt is from my grandmother. I have several quilts from my grandmother that one day I'd love to pass down to my children. I called her granny, not grandmother. Um, but that quilt is special because if you look up close on the yellow pattern, the yellow fabric, there's ladybugs on it. And it's really cool because she passed away long before I met Josh. And it's just cool that there's ladybugs on the quilt and she had no idea that my last name would be 
Ladybug one day and then I would have a dog named Ladybug and I my nickname would be Ladybug so it's just really sweet. Um, passing down the quilts for sure. One day, long, 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 long time from now, I'd love to pass on my ring or other jewelry that I get to my children, my daughters. Um, I think we'll have boys too though. My mom, well my sister brought down my parents kept all of our like baby books. They brought down some when they came for Christmas, so we'll pass on those. Just stuff like that. Just stuff we'll pass on, you know, books. Everything you said, blankets, books, toys, we'll pass those on one day. I have the hiccups, I'm sorry. Hope Douglas, H. Douglas, 92. Hi, Hope. She, um, her and I met on our college program in 2012 and we've remained friends ever since. She asked, how do you feel like Lady, how do you feel like Lady will react to her? I think that Lady's going to do a really good job because whenever my sister's daughter came, whenever any other kids have come to our house, Lady loves kids. <laughs> she is so, she loves them. She licks them. She wants to play with them. She gets excited whenever she hears a kid or a baby on like a YouTube video or TV. She perks up and like starts looking around, not in an aggressive way, but in like a Huh? What's that? So I think she's really going to love the baby. The only thing that I think that we might have a problem with is toys because she loves her toys and she's very territorial over her toys. So we're going to have to distinguish like these are the baby's toys, these are your toys and um, not letting her get those two mixed up so she won't be territorial over the baby's toys when the baby starts playing with toys. But I think she's going to do great. We're not super worried about it. We're going to take her on walks. We're going to give her extra treats and love her more. Lady is, means so much to me. I actually want to do a video just about Lady. Um, so she it helps me with my anxiety a lot. So I'm not worried about it at all. And one more thing about Lady. My friend Jessica said that after we're in the hospital for a day, she wants to get a piece of clothing that the baby was wearing and bring it here and let Lady smell it before we bring the baby home. So I think that will help with the whole process as well. Liz underscore 1202 underscore Liz. Will the baby's name be inspired by Disney? <clears throat> Somebody actually asked that on Twitter as well. I don't think so. Josh has thrown out a lot of funny Star Wars names. I don't think we're going to name the baby like Padme or something like that. Um, I mean, the name Leia is really pretty. It's just not on the top of my list. I'm trying to think. Like, If it is inspired by Disney, it's kind of more of a coincidence than like an actual... I don't think so. I'm not opposed to the idea at all. If you guys have any really pretty Disney names you want to throw out there, I'm not opposed to the idea. I just don't think that that's going to happen because we don't have any Disney names on our list right now. But if you guys have any ideas, comment below. Oh, next person asked Jenna Reed underscore name ideas question mark. Uh, <laughs> I'm not telling you. We have some ideas. I have had a list in my Bible since I was 12. I'm now almost 29 next month. So I've had a list in my Bible for a very long time and now I have a list on my phone of baby names. My girl list is this song, my boy list of baby names is this song. So we definitely have ideas but I'm definitely not going to say them. Sorry. XTNet1822, I want to know your number one food cravings. Like I said earlier, Chick-fil-A, Firehouse, Barbecue, Coke Ices, Fruit. I've thrown up too many salads so I've lost that craving. <laughs> B Land Laura 430 has she started to get active actually perfect timing she has started to get active about the past week uh, at first I thought I was like is it gas is it her I don't know I can feel it now during the day but last past week if I lay down at night I can feel her moving and then as of last night maybe the night before when we lay still in bed if I Josh will put his hand on my stomach and it'll take a few minutes, but he will definitely feel her kick. He felt her kick for the first time last night because he was kind of like dozing off and he had his hand on my stomach and then he like, was that it? <laughs> I was like, yeah, that was it. So she's definitely getting very, very active. Hi, Steffi, this chapter. I love you. Alexandra the lady. Number one, what are you most looking forward to once the baby is born? Oh, I don't know. I just, I'm really excited to just snuggle her and hold her and just be a mom. I don't know. I'm just excited to have a baby and take care of her. That's, I love taking care of people. So for me to have my own child to take care of, I still can't believe it's real. Um, so I'm just excited to be her mom. And I'm really excited to see Josh be a dad because he's such a great, calm person that I think he's going to be a really good dad. Number two. How did you know it was the right time to have a child? I asked because this question has been on mine and my husband's mind. 
Um, I don't think that you do know that it's the right time. I would have started trying a year or two ago. Um, Josh is two years younger than I am. There's not a right time to be honest. We are struggling financially, but we didn't know that we were going to be struggling financially when we started trying. It, I will say this, the one thing that we have been adamant about is prayer. We have prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. And I always said like, because I knew I would be ready before Josh, so I said when Josh is ready we'll start trying. Um, so in May, on our, around our anniversary was when I went off my medicine and we decided, you know, if this is God's plan, it'll happen. Um, I think looking back I wish we would have started sooner, but I can't, I don't want to force my husband to be ready for a baby. So we just prayed about it, and I wanted Josh to have a piece about it. Um, and he did have a piece about it when we started trying. So just pray about it. Um, and, you know, both parties need to be on board. So, because raising a child is hard, so you want to make sure that both members of the party are ready for that because it's not an easy task, but I'm very excited for it. Shay Shay underscore 17, any thoughts on her name? Yes, uh, I will tell you this. We are 99% sure on the middle name, and most likely it will be my grandmother's nickname, but that's all I'm going to tell you. Her real name was Juanita, but that's not the name we, I don't think we would use Juanita. I think we're going to use her nickname, but I can't tell you what that is. Shay Shay also asked, do you plan for a natural birth or a C-section? Natural as medicine can get. <laughs> I have horrible back pain, horrible back problems, so... Um, I have to have an epidural, so natural birth with an epidural. S. N. Brewer said, craziest pregnancy craving. I haven't really had any crazy cravings. One thing is when I was really sick, it's not as bad now, I would be really particular about what cups my water were in. Like I didn't want it in like my metal Yeti cup. I wanted it in like, um, like a plastic cup and I didn't want a lot of ice and I usually love ice. Um, the only really crazy craving that I've had is I've been craving if you've ever been to like a bridal tea or a baby shower, sometimes they'll have on white bread like these little cucumber sandwiches. Oh my gosh, those sound so good. I've been craving them so much. So I've been craving cucumber sandwiches. If anybody wants to like send me a recipe, I want to make some because you can't send me those in the mail because that would be gross. But oh, that sounds so good. Oh, I want one right now. Leah K. Gates. Are you worried or nervous about having raising your baby so far away from your family in Alabama? Not really. Like I'm not worried about raising the baby at all. I think I I feel confident that Josh and I are going to do a wonderful job raising the baby. Am I going to miss my family a lot? Yes. Am I going to want my mom here? Yes. Um, that happens all the time right now. Like the other night when I was cleaning and doing something around the house or when I was at Walmart the other day, or when we were swapping the furniture, I was like, man, I wish my mom and my sisters were here. Um, so I'm not nervous about it, but I do wish that they were here or closer to um, be with us during this special time, Josh's family as well. Um, and Josh's sister and I get along really, really well, so I'd love for us to be closer to them too. But, um, you know, God has really shown us, really shown us, that this is where we need to be right now and we love it here we're very happy here we love our home we love our friends um so for the time being we're going to be in florida we love it here and we don't have plans to move anywhere anytime soon so we trust that god will provide ways for us to be with our family maybe not physically maybe he'll provide plane tickets or our dream is for um my parents to move down one day and have like a with a lot of um, retirement communities are mobile home communities, so for them to have something like that, I think they would love it, and they could go back and forth between Alabama and Florida. I don't know. It's just, I'm not worried about it. Um, my parents are going to retire in the next few years. Josh's parents will hopefully retire in the next few years, so I'm not really worried about it because I know that God will provide. Becca underscore bedding. What's your envision for the nursery, and what are you most excited to do in that room? Like I said, um, bright bright whites, corals, um, metallics, maybe golds, mints, aquas, pinks. I just envision it to be a very, we don't have any money. <laughs> we don't have any money. <laughs> so it's going to have to be cheap, whatever we do. Um, if you've seen the line from Target, a uh, pillow, pillow fort, love that line. I'll get some bedding from there for sure. Um, 
Target's gonna be like my jam when it comes to decorating this nursery. I have this huge, probably four by two foot um, frame, and I wanna get some paper, and I want Josh to paint scripture on that and hang it above the nursery, I mean above the, um, the crib. If I had money, I would go crazy and make it so cute, but we're on a very, 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 very slim budget, so it's going to be um, a lot of like thrifting and painting stuff and painting old frames, um, using what we have and using gifts from other people. So it'll just kind of be like, for instance, the the we have a glider, but I think the glider is going to go in here because it's not as comfortable, and we have this. Um, it's, a, it's not a cute glider either. We have this recliner and it's horrible. It's poopy brown. It's so ugly. We're going to try to get a cover for it and make it look a little bit better. But um, my, I think like one of my number one things that I would love, love to have is um, a really pretty rocker glider combo. Not the wood one, but one that's fully um, made out of like plush fabric because my back is so horrible. Something that I can go and sit in the nursery like a light gray or something and just rest and, and feel comfortable and be there for, you know, hour, two hours holding her. Um, so that's just something that I would love to have for the nursery. Sorry, went off on a rant. This video is gonna be really long. Two more, two or three more. Zoe Grace 99 actually, baby name that I won't use that I love, Zoe. Oh, Zoe has always been one of my favorite names. My name is Joey. Zoe has been one of my favorite names. I don't think I'll ever get to use it because it's like, just like my name. I love your name, Zoe Grace 99 What's something you want to personally accomplish before baby bug is born? Um, personally, for me, getting things around the house organized. Josh and I have been working really hard this weekend on getting the garage organized, the office organized, the guest bedroom organized, flip-flopping those, getting cabinets organized, stuff like that, so that once the baby's here, we can just focus on her and focus on being a family and enjoying that and not have to worry about getting the garage cleaned, getting the office cleaned, stuff like that. Um, as far as Josh, I know his goal is to find not a different job but maybe like an additional job maybe like an editing job or something something that will help us out financially because like I said we're struggling financially so his goal is to get a job that will help us out more financially but maybe not a new job but like an additional job I don't know an editing job I don't know we're just praying 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 that God will provide financially what are you most excited for um doing dad stuff uh I realized that we're outside earlier. I was like, this sidewalk, we may teach our kid to ride a bike right here. That was cool. <laughs> that made me emotional. <laughs> oh, uh, what is some theming that you would like in the nursery? Star Wars. All right, that's, that's what and, I thought. And, uh, I don't know. Last question. Any names that you like that we will not use? What have you said so far? Emily. Mm hmm Um, Sarah. Mm hmm Zoe mm -hmm. and Padme. Okay. And <laughs> Ahsoka and Mon Mothma <laughs> and No Admiral Akbar? Yeah, Akbar's kinda cool. It's a trap. And uh you can just hyphenate Zam Wessel. You like Zam, she has good makeup. She does have good makeup. And well performers wear good makeup. <laughs> yeah. That stuff. Probably can't name our kid Mon Mothma. What's your favorite, what's your thing you're most excited about, like, being a dad, like... Dad jokes. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. Ooh. Here. Bye! Bye! Okay, last question. Like I said, uh, I was in the middle of my sentence. The card got full, but Stacy, she's been super sweet. She sent us cards and treats for lady and little things throughout the years, so thank you, Stacy, for being so sweet. I completely forgot what your question was. The baby's room, we talked about that. What are you most looking forward to as new parents? Um, like I said, holding the baby, hugging the baby. I am so excited. Can you hear me? I am so excited to bring the baby to Disney for the first time. We're both so excited for that because we have lots of friends that work there. We work there. So we're so excited to bring our baby to meet Chewbacca and Goofy and Mickey and Minnie and Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited about that. So, um, just stuff like that. Fun stuff. Her meeting her grandparents. Just hanging out with family, having those fun moments. So, I think that's it for this video. It's really long, I'm sorry, but you guys did awesome. You asked 
so many questions um and we are super thankful for all your support and your love and your cards and your comments and your tweets and your likes and everything you guys have been amazing um a couple of you have asked where we're going to register at and we're actually about to go right now to babies are us and probably start a registry there i think we're going to do babies are us we're going to do amazon and we're going to do um target so i think those are the three places that we're going to register at um, you don't have to send us anything, but a couple of you have asked. I think that's all for this video. Lady, thank you for being a good girl. She got groomed today, so she's really tired. But as always, if you have any ideas for future videos, any questions for future videos, leave those in comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and be sure to subscribe. YouTube is so messed up right now and my subscribers, whenever I post a video, I lose subscribers instead of gain them. And I don't have that many, so be sure to subscribe because I want to hit 3,000 very, very soon. Okay, I think that's all. We're going to go eat dinner now, probably Firehouse, and we're going to go to Babies R Us and start registering. So we are very excited and we are thankful for your support. And as always, we will see you real soon. Have a magical day. Bye! Baby bug is coming. Baby bug is coming. 20 weeks. So we got 20 weeks left. Yay! Let's eat! <laughs>